Tomorrow is definitely a big day in our country, a transition of power from one person to another. But I hope we don't forget, regardless of who the President of the United States is, we're still one nation, one nation under God. I'm calling for peace, I'm calling for calm, and I'm asking, this is a novel idea, I'm asking for people to take a day off from social media tomorrow. Because what we do know is there's going to be a lot of rhetoric on social media tomorrow that ultimately is going to cause an incredible divide in our communities and stir up emotions. You will see a stronger police presence, uh, especially in the downtown area. Uh, there will be some road closures. Uh, you will see our mobile command center uh, just in case in order to communicate with uh, not just uh, uh, other members of the police department, but also our federal and local partners, law enforcement partners. And uh, we have been in communication with uh, uh, the FBI and folks in Sacramento and folks across the country. So at this point in time, let me just reiterate that there is no uh, belief that anything will occur tomorrow. There are no credible threats as of, as of right now, but uh, obviously our, our plan is to, uh, to, to have a solid plan and, and prepare in case uh, something does occur. And I just want to say to those of you who are, who are out there who are conservative white Christians, you may feel that you've had an election stolen from you. You may feel that things aren't working out the way that they ought to, but violence is never the answer. Jesus is a God of peace and hope and love and of joy. And scripture tells us of reconciliation. The honorable thing to do is have a discussion. Um, it's sad that we have city leaders behind me that have experienced violence in their home. Um, that's unpatriotic and that's un-American. And no God-fearing U.S. Special Operations Command soldier, combat veteran would be involved in any nonsense like that. So I would just ask you, if you have issues with what's going on, Voice your opinion in a way that's honorable to the flag and to the oath you took as a sailor, as a Marine, as a soldier, a Coast Guard, and whatever other service you were in. Together, we're going to make a difference in our community. But tomorrow, for our transitional, uh, transitional power, we want to make sure that our folks understand that we have much more things in common than difference. <laughs>